Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be testing two separate snowblowers. Two very different snowblowers, one of which is a Honda, one of which is a Craftsman. On my right, you guys might actually recognize this guy. This used to be Marty's snowblower, the one that I've actually done some uh, maintenance on for the last couple of years. And Marty has been nice enough to trade this snowblower to me for some uh, work with the lift that I have installed just recently. So. Thank you very much for that, Marty. But going back to the snowblower, this is an HS70 Honda, like I was saying. It's driven on tracks, and it's got a 26 inch opening when it comes to the auger size. Now to my left, we've got a older Craftsman. This is a mid 90s uh, Craftsman. This is a very popular machine. It's a 10 horsepower Tecumseh engine, and it also has a 30 inch opening on the auger. Rather than tracks, this one has tires. So let's see what happens with these two machines when we put them in some deep snow. This is going to be the battle of the blizzard breakers. This is going to be the fight of the flurry fighters. This is going to be a slaying of the snow slingers. Let's just get this test in the way. started I wanted to point out that this test is not fair whatsoever as you can tell the machines are very different between each other two separate conditions uh, but what I'm going to be using is my front yard here or my backyard my parking lot so to speak we have about 40 feet from where my truck is parked to where these stakes are set up for my grass so we're going to see which one of these snow blowers after three passes does the best. First pass with the Craftsman. And as you'll see in a moment, the wind is not in my favor, so it's making it really tough to get a good measurement. Second pass with the Craftsman is doing a little bit better, the winds died down. This was probably the best pass with the Craftsman. And between all three passes, it averaged, in my opinion, around 20 feet. First pass with the Honda. It's kind of a slow start. Let's see what she gives us on the second pass. It's doing a little bit better, but it still seems to be lacking. After finishing the second pass and lining up for the third, I realize I've forgotten to fully open the throttle. Now that's more like it. I decided to make a few more passes after. At this point I would say the Honda is averaging 30 feet. Okay, so those tests were kind of inconclusive. The wind was blowing the wrong direction. I get it, not everybody would be snowing against the wind, uh, but I really didn't want to go the other way and pepper my truck with a bunch of snow, maybe ice. So 
I would still say that both machines did really, really well. But not everybody has to throw snow super far. So I've come up with another test, which I'm sure everyone has had to deal with at one point, and that's all that heavy packed snow in front of your entrance of your driveway. So let's see what those two machines can do. So that's going to do it for this video guys. Tell me what you thought. Which one was your favorite and which one would you buy? I mean, personally, if we look at how easy it is to use, I would say the Honda was an easier machine to use based off the fact that there were tracks. I found that the Craftsman kept wanting to ride up, which meant that I kept having to put some down pressure on the front by lifting up on the handles. And it kind of makes you sore on your uh, shoulders if you use it for quite a while. Um, they both ran really well, they both threw a decent amount of snow, and on another note, I did notice that the Honda was able to take a full bite of snow each and every pass without having too much fall to the side. So, comment down below, let me know what you think, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll see you all next week.